Well, if you're thinking about getting into the sciences, chances are you are considering medical school or maybe vet school. And if for some reason that doesn't work out, well, there's always pharmacy or dentistry. And if that doesn't work out, well, you're pretty much ish out of luck. Just kidding. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where I'm here to help you guys find a rewarding career and ultimately a life you're proud of. And this is why I created my website, my channel. If you haven't already, definitely hop onto my site. You can find my blog with all my previous videos, but you can also grab my free ebook, The Unfair Advantage. And also check out my products and services where I offer courses on how to separate yourself from the competition or to book a mentoring session with me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so like many of you guys, I graduated with a science degree. And I remember the crew that I graduated with. There was about 10 to 13 of us. We graduated all together. And the majority of them were actually gunning for medical school, only to realize, however, that their grades weren't good enough. And I can say that of all my friends, of this crew of 13 people, only myself and one other person stayed within a career stream that was related to our science degree. The rest of them moved on, either going into a different major altogether or furthering their education in an institute or technical college to add to their current degree and others just switch their careers entirely. So when I'm speaking at career events either at college campuses or at universities, I find that students have no idea as to what jobs are available and I think a lot of that has to do with the academic system where it just does a poor job at informing students as to what positions are available to them with a science degree. Our professors are the one that's telling us that the only jobs out there is to become a researcher, to teach uh, classes at an institution, to become a doctor, to become a vet, to become a dentist, and it doesn't help when your parents are also telling you the exact same thing ever since you're a little kid. Which is why I'm going to tell you right now that that is not true and that there are plenty of other jobs available to you that pay well that are great, that are respectable, that are fun to do, that you can grow with. And for those that don't know, I work for one of Canada's largest natural health products manufacturing companies. And here we make fish oil soft gels, vitamin E soft gels, uh, vitamin and mineral tablets, and herbal supplements. And the job that I'll be listing will be representative of that type of company. But at the same time, I just want to let you know that these departments can also apply to the biotech industry as well as the pharmaceutical industry. So just keep that in mind as you go forward. That said, here are five jobs that you can get with a science degree. Number one is quality assurance, and that is where your role is to ensure that quality is built into the manufacturing and production process every step of the way. Your role is to ensure that the product delivers what it says it will deliver, it doesn't contain any contaminant, it meets all the government regulations and all the specifications. And if there are any deviations or any issues, your job is to figure out why what happened, how to fix it. Number two, quality control. And in this role, you will be working in a lab and you will be testing the product as well as all the ingredients that go into making that product. You will be using lab techniques either that you've learned in school or through the company. And this includes HPLC, TLC, as well as mass spec. And your goal here is to test both the active ingredients as well as the finished product to make sure that there's no microbial contamination, that there aren't any active ingredients that aren't supposed to be in the product, and that whatever the label says, that the test results reflect that. Number three is stability. Now, you know when you buy a carton of milk, you see that expiration date at the very top? How do you know that June 22nd is the day that it actually will expire? Who figures that out? That's the role of the stability department. Yes, there are stability protocols and tests and principles that a technician must use and conduct to ensure that a product is safe all the way up to that specific date. Number four is validation. And this is the department where you are going to be looking at various systems, the production process, equipment, at test methods to ensure that they are doing what they are intended to do. Let's use a very simplistic example. Let's say you are testing vitamin C content in oranges, you get your sample, you throw it into a machine and it spits out a result, these characteristic peaks of vitamin C, but how do you know that those results are true? How do you know that those results 
aren't wrong. This is exactly what validation does. It answers those questions. It not only looks at equipment, but also test methods, as well as systems and manufacturing processes. Number five is documentation. I want you guys to think about a company the size of Nestle. Think of all the food products that they have. Think of all the ingredients that must be flowing into that company and all the products flowing out. You've got information coming from the suppliers, and this could be information about uh, the allergens, the contaminants, the heavy metals. It could be about where the ingredients came from, where they were grown, how they were grown. Really hard to manage all of that. The role of the documentation department is to do exactly that. It's absolutely crucial and essential. And unfortunately, I think it's a little bit underrated. I think that people associate the word documentation with just pure paper pushing, but they forget to realize that in order to do it properly, to do that effectively, you have to have a science background, a scientific understanding to do it effectively. So there you go guys, five jobs that you can get with a science degree. Hopefully this was informative to you. And guys, I am not done. I have five more jobs on the way in a separate video, so be sure to subscribe. And remember folks that I am here to help you guys out find a rewarding career and ultimately a life you're proud of. And if you have a question for me that you'd like me to answer in a future YouTube video, go to my website, 101mentoring.com and send me your questions in that way. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.